The recipe called for how many ounces? Four. And this bottle is how many ounces? 16.7. Talk to me a lemon. Oh! Woo! Woo! Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Today we have some very special guests in the house. What's up? <laughs> it's your boy Rail, which you guys have seen in two different ways. You've seen him as Mr. Professional Photographer, <laughs> but you've also seen him as the Turn Up Friend as well. And then we also have Hello. Miss Sadie, sincerely. Hello. This is a full circle moment because it is. Almost we met through ago. YouTube, through through one of my videos. Such a like a destiny moment. moment. It was that we were just a year later. We now we're here. We were destined to meet each other. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video where I took a little mini road trip with some of my followers. It was a sponsored video. It was kind of honestly, but we're here some now. great things came out of it because that's how I met Sadie. We've also got some tiny special guests. This is Alea, her daughter, her son Malachi is upstairs with Zaya, they're playing. That's the other good thing. Malachi and Zaya are around the same age, so they've been able to play and have fun. But on the agenda today. On the agenda. Let me set this down. I'm about to start shackling the corn. Shackling? I quit. What is it? What is your name? Say it for is it shackling or shucking? Or is it neither? Shucking. shucking. Oh, it is shucking. Shackling is like. Shackles. With the shackles on my pizza, I can dance, so I can dance. So crazy, crazy. Why are we shucking corn? Let them know. We're here today for a <laughs> seafood boil. I've never done a seafood boil like at home. I mean, I've eaten it before, but I've never cooked it. I've never done it. Uh, Sadie say she be doing it. She I know how to expert, do it. I'm but I've been doing this a couple times. Okay. But Rel <laughs> came through with the be love leaves. Smackalicious sauce mix, and he got the spicy one. So if y'all don't know about B-Loves, she is very famous on YouTube for doing seafood boil, mukbangs and stuff, and she came out with her own sauce for the seafood boil. I've never tried this, I'm excited to try this. So when Rel said that he had it, I was like, oh, we gotta do a seafood boil at my house, we gotta film it. That is why we are having this random seafood boil party at my house right now. So, already right off the bat, Rel is prepping the onion and the fresh garlic. Sadie is prepping the, she's shackled the corn. <laughs> Is that what we gonna keep doing? We're just gonna keep, we're just gonna call it shackling. I like that better. Fresh corn on the, none of that frozen oh, stuff. Oh no, man. None of that pre-mint stuff. Only the best here, even though, don't ask me, cause I don't know. I had to watch a couple of YouTube videos to just kind of get a general idea of how this is even done. And it actually seems pretty simple it though. Is. Once the water is boiled, it's a really quick process. Like it's gonna be ready in like, 15 minutes. We got the onion, so nicely sliced by Chef Rel. <laughs> Some garlic on the way. Chef Sadie and I'm Chef Lele. <laughs> yes, I didn't forget about you. We're doing, she's doing one-handed corn chopping. This is um, mom life. Corn, sausage, other ingredients are as follows. You know, we got extra, extra seasoning on deck. Several seasonings. This, I feel like, is a must-have. Lemons. Some extra garlic over here. And then the main attraction, we've got lobster, y'all. And we've got some very large crab legs and some very large shrimp in here as well. You're gonna see in a second. Stay tuned, because I'm actually very excited for this crab. Corn cobs are prepped, garlic on the way. Look at him being so meticulous. <laughs> so neat and perfect. I'm gonna chop up the sausage. Comment down below, how about this? Comment down below, I'm, I'm sure some of y'all know. Do lobsters have vocal cords and do they scream when you cook them? Like that sound that they make when you cook lobster? Is it a scream or is it more like steam? squeaking out of something. I feel like it's steam. Sega thinks they screaming. I think they fart. <laughs> oh, okay. Rel, what do, you, what do you vote? Oh no. I... Scream or steam? Comment, to, comment below. Scream or steam? Scream, scream or steam. Crab legs are here. Why did you buy more crab? You just you hard headed. You just hard headed. Sadie went and got more crab when I told her I got the crab. And I told her I got the shrimp. Let's unbox the shrimp. <laughs> shrimp unboxing. <laughs> Crab, shrimp, and then I just chopped up the sausage, corn, oh, potatoes. Man, Here's the other shrimp and crab that I got. 
We got the big, the big daddy king crab legs. And then these big daddy shrimp too. These are huge shrimp. Look, oh my God. Fill up the big mama pot with water. Had to borrow this pot from Chef Tony because she has all the professional equipment. Wow. Yeah, it looks great. Chef Tony's over here um, judging. 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 Plain judging. Just judging. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Just judging. You can imagine what kind of judging she's doing. I specifically don't want you to help because I want to be able to be proud of our own creation. So far, we've got the water getting ready to boil with two lemons cut in half, as well as this is Old Bay that you put in there. Yeah, half a cup. Of half a cup of I'm Old Bay a seasoning. More too. Look at Sadie just being so domestic. Such a good mother, such a good chef. And she looked cute while she's doing it. Oh, see, Chef Tony can't help but to, now I hear her in the background giving directions. I think Ralph's doing a fabulous job. You know what I'm saying? My mom saw this TikTok where you take a garlic, a whole clove of garlic, cut the end off. Oh, wow. Put it down and smash it and all the cloves come out perfectly. Now I doubt that's gonna happen. But we'll put it to the test. But I'm gonna try it. They cut this bottom part off. I'm barely gonna be able to do that with these knives. I can't, this is not gonna cut. These knives, the whole product is breaking. They had a freaking samurai sword. Those big butcher knife things too. Cause it's too hard to even cut this off. Look. You try. They cut it like halfway, like this. Yeah. They did. Let me just try it on one part. Like do it hard. See, I told you, garlic went yeah. everywhere. And it didn't come out of the skin. Yeah, okay. Getting garlic papers all in the sausage. Oh, look. Yeah, you just pick the papers out. Okay, let's make it happen then. Look at Chef Sadie. Oh, Chef Sadie in the oh, building. Look, what's that? Cajun. Oh, the Cajun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add the garlic and onion. What you got going on over here, Chef Brown? We got the butter milk and we got the garlic and we got the onion. That's so much butter. It's so much butter. But we got some chicken stock coming for here and some coke. And what else do we have coming in here? The seasoning, of course. Mm -hmm. Real done messed up and put the whole four blocks of butter in there. This have a lot of sauce. Okay, so listen, y'all. This is what had happened. So I was watching the video and I could have sworn that I saw Miss B Love pour like the whole bottle. So this is what we have left. So the recipe called for how many ounces? Four. And this bottle is how many ounces? 16.7. So we got four <laughs> times the amount of Coke in there right now. Which hey, I'm like, look, <laughs> never fear. We also have twice the amount of butter in there on accident. So my suggestion was to remove some of the Coke butter mixture so that it wouldn't be so much of that, so that it would be a better ratio to the amount of chicken broth that we have to put in there. This smells really good. <laughs> Pour the whole thing in there. Cause if anything, you don't want to have less seasoning to, yeah. to, with the Coke, yeah. right? You want to have a lot of seasoning. Sodium level is about to be off the roof. Half of the chicken bro. That's what the full recipe calls for? Full recipe calls for the whole. Full recipe calls for, okay, do the whole chicken bro. One cup of chicken broth. How much is in there? One cup. That's one cup? That seems like more than a cup. Mm -hmm. Wait. I don't trust you at this point. This serving size is one cup. See? And there's two servings per container. This is two so cups. The problem is, bro can't read. <laughs> so we need to do half of this can, but not the whole can, definitely. I know y'all are already writing comments down below saying, Raven's not even helping. Well, look. Ask your friends to come over and do something. That's how you scam. <laughs> I'm in charge of the filming and the eating. <laughs> It's, this is our own remix to the Beloved sauce. See, it looks like it. It looks like what she got on the package. What are you doing? <laughs> you just can't help yourself. There's stickers and paper by the sausage. You did that. I didn't do that. Meanwhile, yeah. our boil is not even boiling because it's so much water in here. But we got the seasoning and the lemon in there. We're just waiting for this to start boiling so we can add in, start adding in our ingredients. The boil is boiling. Okay. So right now we're adding the potatoes. We're gonna add some corn as well. We're gonna let that cook for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add other stuff. Everyone always does red potatoes, but honestly, I like these ones better because they are softer and they're more juicy. I watched he did cut up the large oh, ones too. Really? If you wanted to. Maybe I should cut up some. Yeah, I think cutting up the potatoes so they're more like the same size as these. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, we don't want that one in there. Not the problem child. Look. <laughs> oh, oh, leave him alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, what you, what you got against the, the dark you. potatoes, huh? I don't. Dark potatoes. Look, she likes herself a dark potato. I, I, I low prefer key. a dark potato. <laughs> okay. We got now the yellow have... bones, the red bones, and the dark. Everybody's represented in our boil. We don't leave anybody out. We do not discriminate. We're gonna just do this many corn. Yeah, that's a lot of corn. Yeah, we're gonna just do that many. This is what the sauce is now looking like. I think we ended up just, look, we ended up just putting everything in there that we kind of added extra of. But it's just gonna be an extra sauce, why not? You ain't did your hair. Okay. Where did, where, how did you do that? Shatoni had to get herself presentable yeah. for the mukbang. She's ready for the mukbang. You gotta eat it with us. Once it starts cooking, we gotta be ready because it's best hot. Where oh, we, we need to that? set, look, yeah. I don't have, I thought we had some of that butcher paper to lay out so we could just dump it on the table on top of the paper. I ran out, I don't have any, but I do. I do have some uh, Christmas wrapping paper that I personally feel like could work. What? Because otherwise, like, you don't, I don't know what else to do. I mean, we could just eat it on a plate like civilized people, but that's no fun. Chef Tony's suggestion, because I didn't have the paper that I wanted, she got bacon pans and parchment paper. The kids are over there eating um, their kid-friendly dinner. We got the kid-friendly meal going down first. First little taste test of the sauce. Is it good? Oh, Mom. This is about to be good. It's good? Yeah. Water displacement. Yes. Well, and we gonna save a little to pour it over. Add in the lobster. Oh, look. Look at she's getting a nice color on her. And a little melanin. <gasps> there she is. Big king crab going in. Look at the lobster and the crab and the shrimp and the sausages. Food is all nice and thick and juicy. Rel is nice. really proud of his sauce. Rel made the sauce popping with his own little special. <laughs> here we go, here we go, Ooh, here we eat. go. I'm ready. So, it's officially done. We got the sauce. Got a bit of shrimp. We're gonna get the Chef Tony official opinion. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> How many stars out of five? Five out of five. Really? really? Oh, yes. oh, it's spicy? It yeah, yeah, it's the spicy, spicy one. It kicks up. Oh, wow. Try a little bit with the um, lemon butter. So that means Rel did not mess up by adding mm. the amount of That means Rel added. tweaked it. Rel made it better. Rel's <laughs> remix <laughs> of the B-Love sauce. And it turned out great. Yes. Potato. Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's then you gotta taste it's Sadie's sauce. Okay, okay. okay, well I'm gonna try this jumbo shrimp. A little garlic, lemon, I mean, what is it? It's just, it's just um, lemon, garlic. Mm -hmm. Is it Chef Tony approved? Yep. Chef Tony approved. Cost me a lemon. Oh! Woo, woo. I was overconfident. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Time to dig in. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we look so legit. We got our oh, little. Oh, I forgot bowls to grab corn. Oh, oh. We got the corn, oh, some potatoes. Same. <laughs> oh, oh. My goodness, how to look at oh. this spread. Wow. Okay. Good job, team. We did it. We did that. We brought this into fruition. Or fruition. fruition. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Why do I not know all the things? All right, should we take our first bites? Here we bites? go. Let's all taste. Right. I don't know what to start I'm with. Gonna shrimp. I'm gonna start. I like the shrimp with this. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you don't need a man when you have this. This is all that Ooh, I need. Mm -hmm. I like this sauce so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm ready to have my lobster now. This sauce is so good, bro. There I'm we go. Look at that. <gasps> oh. Oh. Here. Perfect. We muck banging. Oh. We ain't gang banging, but we muck. Here. Oh. oh. We all sharing. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. 
She oh, would say, my lemon ring. Ready? Ah, it's mm. hot. Look at that. Y'all see that lemon range? Hold on. <laughs> and she thick. <laughs> thick. Wow. I'll get one of those legs right there, right there, right there. You want me to cut it for you? I asked my Instagram followers to ask us questions. Just literally random questions, so I have no idea what this is about to be. This first one is a topic. It says, any funny failed date stories that y'all are down to talk about? Failed date? Failed date. Well. Honestly, I don't even really go on that I was about dates. to say, I've barely been on a date. I haven't really been on dates outside of the committed relationship I was already in. Mm, mm. Right. Like first dates, I really haven't even done that. I've had yeah. a lot of bad ones. Really? Yeah. Okay. Tell us. You gotta tell us. Oh. A lot of mine involve asking me out but not having the funds to provide for the oh. date. Oh. Or like just being really creepy. So this one guy <laughs> hits me up. He said, do you want to eat and go to a movie? To me, if someone else interested in you invites you to do something, mm -hmm. they're paying. It, it, I take it as, this is your treat. You invited me. You right. know what I mean? I still had my own money, but so we get to the dinner. He didn't order anything. He just sat there and watched me eat the entire time. I was like, are you gonna order something? He's like, no, like you just eat. And he was just staring at me. What? And I'm like, okay. So I just got like appetizers and a couple drinks. He was like, I'll just get water. The check comes, the waiter puts it on the table and he's just like, like the guy's looking at me like, that's yours. So I took the check, I'm like, okay. And at that point I should have just been like, all right, I'm going home. But I was like, we already said we were gonna go to the movies. Like, we get to the movies. When we're in line, he has a duct tape wallet that he made. Oh. He shows me, he goes, look at how cool my wallet is. I made it. He whips out, it wasn't cool, it was raggedy. This duct tape wallet, and he goes, look, showing me there was nothing in it. There was nothing, no cards, no cash, no ID or nothing. I winded up paying for both of our movies. What? That was a long time ago. That was before Malachi, before anything. I don't know what the men now are like. These new men. <laughs> These new 2020, 2020 men. <laughs> Do you think it's okay to buy a guy a PS5, the new PS5, if y'all have only been together for three months? No. <laughs> what? I mean, what do you mean by like, is it okay? Like, that's- Like, is she doing too much? I think she might is be. Is he? like 500 something dollars. It right. kind of depends on depends like how the situation, but <laughs> I would say three months is not a long time to drop five hundred dollars. Yeah, somebody. that's that's what I'm. Getting I wouldn't doing. because what's the occasion? Just just because. Right. But also, does he just reciprocate because? that? You know what I mean? Like. Is I he... mean, also, are y'all both just balling like that where that's not mm -hmm. that big of a deal? That's another factor. Yeah. Like, but is that nothing for you? For then? the average person, that's five hundred dollars just because on a game. You better be doing something magnificent. Right. Period. <laughs> in those three months to make that happen. Yeah. So it's a no for me. Yeah, it's no gonna for be me. a no for me, dog. Would I let Rel and Sadie hook me up on a blind date? You better say yes. Well, hold on, let's say this. She's giving me some relationship advice, right? So I feel like I know her way of thinking and may operate the same. And also, I have a good eye. I, I think I might be able to pick out someone that she thinks is attractive, that she thinks is attractive. Okay. What about me? Sadie. I know, I, I, I know your type. You do know my, y'all both know And I know what know you need type. to stay away from. Y'all both know me. Okay, look, I'll say this. They both know me, they know my type. I trust that part of it. But looks wise, <laughs> your looks are all, Different. So right. I wouldn't be I able to look, yeah. pinpoint. I don't really even have like a pinpoint type. Mm -hmm. But I think you would know if it wasn't the right thing. Yes. You know? Yes. I think it would just be more so like, what kind of men do y'all have access to? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't have that access to Because you, you cause <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there, but uh, that's the, the main problem. <laughs> we kind of all have access to the same, same pool of yeah. people. Right. And they're not in our level. Right, right, right. <laughs> So I trust y'all, but it's just more so what's available in the first place. That's, so that's, that's a very good point. Yeah, Rel, yeah. there's so many things in here where people are like, I don't have a question, but Rel is fine. Oh, really? Rel, Rel is fine. I don't have a question, but Rel is a little cutie. <laughs> So we'll let, well, make me know it then. Um, and I want Raven to start the answer okay. off. Oh. The best way to approach or shoot my shot on social media. Mm, yeah. You can answer that. Why not? Because um, you got the following. You talking, about, you talking about romantically? Romantically. If, if a guy was trying to shoot his shot romantically. Oh, this is coming from a guy? Mm hmm How could he shoot so it? So best you? way for a guy to shoot his shot on social media. I would say avoid generic compliments. If you slide into somebody's DMs or comments and just be like, 
you're beautiful. That's nice, you know, not bad, but not eye-catching, not interesting. You're not gonna grasp my attention. Especially if you're hitting somebody up who you think might be getting hit up a lot. Yeah. Mm. Or they have a lot of followers or something like that. Your message is just going to get lost in the messages because mm -hmm. it's just very generic. I would say if you can find a specific something to comment on, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Let's say I posted something recently that had to do with decorating my living room and then you hit me up and was like, wow, it's so awesome. You really have like a, an eye for design. I think that's really cool. Like I really, I really like, crea you know, like something like that where it's like more specific and personal to me mm -hmm. and shows yeah. me that you were paying attention to me and my and content and stuff. Like that makes, that would make me feel special. Like, oh, so he was peeping my, he was peeping my content. He automatically you know? stood out. He knows my aesthetic. He, yeah, he like, He's interested in me more than just my face or my right, body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that really that stands too. out. I feel like what I thought for you was like roasting you a little. That too. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even think I about that. I feel like that. that's your humor. That is. My personal love language is like roast her. Kind of childish. Don't be rude, but just roast a little. See, <laughs> kind of that bullying is kind of cute ass. to me. Mm, I'm okay. not going to lie. I'll be sensitive. I'll be <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> well, because like. No, I mean, that's what you would say to them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, see, like, exactly. <laughs> Look, honestly, actually, I, a lot of my, probably all of my relationships have started off that way. And if I say mm -hmm. something to you joking and you can't take a joke, eh, I mean, I, I could take it. wouldn't be compatible. I know, it's the cancer to be sensitive. Because here's the thing, I'm going to have a little explanation for you. I'm going to be like, well, the truth is that there's truth behind a joke. And if, you know what I mean? And it's really That's not funny. that neat. But I've learned a little bit. I got some friends who joke a lot and, you know, I'm adapting. Okay, okay. this is funny. <laughs> Oh, what were you all like in high school? Oh, no. Can we talk about that? I was a class clown. Middle school and elementary, bad. High school, I was like more put together. I really actually <laughs> loved learning, but I just, I talked. I messed around, joked with the cheats. The you're teachers. just very bubbly and outgoing, so I can see how you're just, you're We're not gonna cracking trouble. jokes Quiet. every you're gonna time. Be talking to everyone, talking to the teachers, right. trying to be buddy buddy with the teachers. Right, I can see that too. I was the complete opposite. Really? Quiet, shy, wasn't no type of social butterfly, wasn't no type of athlete, no type of nothing. The thing that people always like pointed out to me about me is they would be like, they would basically say like, you hang out with the weirdest mix of people. Mm. Really? Because like, you know, and and this is no shade on any specific type of person, but like, you know how you would have different cliques in high school mm -hmm. and you would have like the the gothic kids who wore like, you know, extreme stuff like mm -hmm. chains hanging off their pants, and like all black and eyeliner and mm -hmm. stuff like I was. Some of my friends were those kids. Mm -hmm. Sometimes hanging out with the weird gothic kids, sometimes hanging out with a lot of my friends were uh, the Hispanic clique. Spanish was their first language mm -hmm. from Mexico and stuff like that. Came here in middle school and I don't know why I really felt very comfortable in that clique. I guess because I hung out with people who d who didn't look like me, who didn't dress That's like so me. People weird. thought that was so like, like really what's your weird. association with mm -hmm. this? Yeah. yeah. We need to yeah. know why. Like they, it's like they couldn't define me because mm -hmm. it's like you, in high school, I feel like you're very defined by like who you hang out with and people kind of label you based on mm -hmm. your clique. So for me, I was very social. I think high school was definitely me finding myself still, um, but like I got nominated for like homecoming court. Mm -hmm. They gave me the most likely to be famous, like awards and stuff like that. I just, I talked to everybody. Um, so yeah, definitely relate to you like with being with different crowds of people. It was a lot of like interrogation. I guess like for being gay, that was probably, def that was like the main thing. Somebody asked, have you ever kissed a girl? What's the biggest thing you got in trouble for as a child? So this one is a situation, I guess that they want our advice on. You have a messy friend, a messy manipulative friend.